my first memory of golf was being dropped at the pitch and putt course. That's where I all started. It was like a summer camp for my mum and dad to drop me off. And I was literally dropped there at nine o'clock in the morning and, and picked up at six o'clock at night and, and just got the addiction of trying to get better and better. And then joined golf at 16 and started that same sort of process of not hitting it far and then was hitting it far and falling in love with different parts of the game at different times and just loving it. My journey to where I am now, so I started golf at 16 and within the first six months I knew I sort of had a talent and was being asked to play on the under 18 teams at, on my first year, so which was pretty good. And Then it got down to pretty low, it was about five after the first year and things started to go really good and started playing amateur championships and then the disability golf came in about 2018. So my auntie Anne found that and I said I'd give it a go, never found myself any different and was competing at quite a high level in amateur and it's the best road I ever went down. It's opened so many doors, it's playing in European tour events, uh, meeting the biggest people in the world that play golf and, and it's truly an amazing feeling. That one shot that comes to mind is um, I was playing in the Australian Open in 2019 and it was a long par 4 11. It was 230 yards out and I, it was actually into the wind. I hit like a stinger three wood draw and it landed just right in the bunker and kicked into about four feet and then sunk the putt for birdie. And I actually came second that year. It was in the final round so it did help get into second but it was, that's, that's the shot I remember. What makes the ISPS Hand event so special is, well, first of all, the inclusion between men, ladies, and also disability golfers. They're really hitting every side of golf at this event. It's equal prize money for men and ladies is huge, and that's what they've been striving for for a long time. And having also Modest Golf involved too, getting us a disability event at it, it's going to be a massive step forward for the game and getting more disability golfers into the game and also children into the game and that's a main ambition of ours to continue this journey and getting more players into it so it's going to be a special week. I've been with American Golf now to this the second year and they've been truly incredible from day one and um, basically helping me fulfill my dream and playing golf week in week out and promoting disability golf on the map and same for ISPS Hand if it wasn't for organisations like that they wouldn't be able to give me the platform to promote the game on such a high stage and, and a high level so I'm going to be forever grateful for, for all these sponsors. The place I want Disability Golf to be in five years, it's, it's taken massive strides in the last three and it's gone places where I never thought it would go so quick. So in the next five years I hope that Disability Golfers are earning a living from the game, whether it's through a world tour run alongside the European Tour and obviously getting into the Paralympics would be a true goal of mine as well. And things are going in the right direction. Obviously COVID put a spanner in the works over the last year. It was a tough year for everybody, but um, we're getting back into it. It's such a special thing that can't be forgotten. So we're going to keep flying the flag.